This is Twit. Everybody wants to know what the hell happened. <laughs> so revision what the hell happened three, with what? With revision three. So uh, so uh, so revision three. What Kevin and Rose basically started that. Kevin right? Rose and Jay Adelson started revision and, and three at the same time. In, they started dig. Right. By the way, I do have my dig he, sweatshirt. He brought in. Uh, See, I, I can my, I can I can beat you on that. Sweatshirt. In fact, I'm going to give you. I have a. A shirt that says Dig 4 was my idea. By the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. I'll That's the, the other, thing that killed them, by the, the way. The other thing I brought just because What's it's that? fun. It's the best of CES. Oh. Best. Remember this, Judge? For, for we, how many years do we do that? Three or four years? We would pick. That's a Scott Evest, by That's the way. That's a Scott Evest, exactly. We would pick the best of Ooh. CES. There. I'm Isn't so nice? glad that we got out of that business. <laughs> <laughs> Remember one of the years I we helped, picked? I helped start it. We so. picked Moxie. Yeah. I Remember know. that? I know. <laughs> you, know what, you know what else we picked? That was a hit. You know, I, I, I actually have one of these still. Um, uh, oh, God, Data Play. Remember the little discs like this big? Yeah. Well, that, that was gonna, cool at the time. That was cool. I think That's we the picked, problem. We were trying to decide if it was Sirius or XM one year. Yeah. I think we picked XM because it was better audio quality. It's much better audio. Anyway, anyway, sorry. That, I, but I derailed you on Revision 3. I'm sorry. No, but, the, but it actually... That was a good topic, the best of CES, and that's the was. It turns out that's a no-win proposition. It's good for viewership. It's great. I don't know. I, I it's it's great for viewership, but you can't. It's great for the brand. You can't pick the. Well, I don't know if it's great for the brand. It is because what and and this is the thing. If you do it right, you get your little. And this we did this you at PC little, Magazine. I have one somewhere. You get your best little, of CES get that sticker. Little award, yeah. And you charge companies to put it on the box. Right. Back when people oh. bought. bought Oh, well, it's a people, profit deal. Totally. It's a licensing <laughs> deal. You license the award oh, to your box. It's a great like business. Know. Best of CES, baby. Maybe we should do that. Yeah, but you should You <laughs> license that out. You put that on your website. It's a best of. You oh. Get, you get $10,000 to license one of those logos out. So Kevin was doing, we've talked with Kevin. Lisa, are you listening? He was, <laughs> he was doing... <laughs> He was doing system and uh, the broken, the broken, mm -hmm. and so revision three, and then dignation. Yeah, dignation so, was the big hit. Those are the first three, three shows, so. and those, and that was the hit. Yeah, dignation. In fact, when when they decided to stop doing dignation, did that like kind of put a chill down your spine? Yeah, of course, because <laughs> that was like we had, that was the big. That we was had the some engine. other good shows that we, that we built up, and people that we brought in, like Young Turks, and well, uh, at what point did you decide? Phil DeFranco. What point did you decide? Oh, we should bring in some YouTube stars. So here's what, what happened. Um, so we, you know, we raised a bunch of money. They brought right. me in as CEO. How much? Seven, eight million? Eight million. 2007. I came in you know, mid-year 2007. And we launched a whole bunch of shows. Some with Sarah Lane, some with Martin Sargent. So, you know, a whole bunch of great stuff. None of them really, you know, Patrick, Patrick Norton came Texilla. on. But that, Texilla. That did well. It did, did. So, but none at the level of Dignation. None right. of them had that power of Dignation. Something about Dignation was massive. Yeah. And, we brought in some external shows. Started brings like we brought in Hack Five, right? Which is great. Uh, Dar and brought Darren out from the uh, East yeah, Coast. Yeah, Darren and Shannon both came out yep. from the East Coast, uh, and a couple others like that. But what happened in the end of 2008? Um, that was when the crash happened. Right. And we basically got these notes, you know, from all of our investors. Remember, we were venture back startups. So we right. had to listen to them. Um, that was your mistake, by the way. It wasn't my mistake. They brought me in. They raised the money. That, that was Kevin's was, mistake. That was a mistake. Yeah. Because um, we in 2008 started doing video. Right. And we didn't have to ask anybody's permission. We didn't have to be, pro we were always profitable, but we only spent what we could spend. Well, and, and yeah, in this case, it was like, you know, grow big, spend a lot That's of money and do this. Investors are going to want to see some growth. Right. So, so anyway, um, at that point, it was nuclear winter, laid off third of the staff. Oy. Um, and we started saying, you know, we cored back to Dignation and Texel and a couple other things. Mm -hmm. And we started looking at what else was going on. We had just done a deal with YouTube. And I remember in, in 2009... As a studio, what was the deal with YouTube? As a make, like a... As like an affiliate, a, like a, that we would put our videos on... I mean, remember, there were 20 or 30 different platforms. Right. We had deals Like Machinima with. or something no, no, like no, that? No, 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 no. So we, we, it was more like um, uh, um, Rever. Okay. And Vio. Okay. And, um, God, what was... There, there was... These are places you'd put your videos and then they'd put them on YouTube. No, no, they'd put them on their own sites. Their These own were all the sites that competed with YouTube. I see. They were... 20 or 30 sites that all were going to be the next big thing in right. online video before right. YouTube became dominant. Right. Um, you couldn't do that today, could Daily you? Daily Motion, Blip. Right. Remember all those Daily yeah, Motion Blip's gone. around. Yeah, but that's European. That would, you know, that's part of the reason Daily Motion succeeded. It's kind of YouTube for well, Europe. Because it's France. It's France. Funded by the France. You have to have <laughs> Stop. Everything you do, you, you have to have that. a French version. So, my name is Leo Laporte. What are you talking about? I know all about this. May we? We must have our French version. We cannot do it America on YouTube. <laughs> We'd call it um, 
Vutub. <laughs> mm. uh, so, so uh, yeah, so so um, everybody was trying to be YouTube. Everybody was trying to be. Everybody was trying easy. to be not necessarily YouTube. Everybody was trying to be the place for online video. But that was a that was a but real YouTube. coup to get Phil DeFranco. Well, so so YouTube started growing, right? Yeah. And so I started looking at it and saying we need to put our stuff on YouTube, right? Um, and got to know the platform, um, found some of the other people doing tech stuff on the platform. Right. Including Mark Watson, Soldier Knows Best, mm -hmm. John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo brought mm -hmm. them in to round out the stuff we were doing. And at the same time, started bringing in and picking out some of the key YouTubers and bringing them in and making them part of Revision 3 as affiliates. Not that we would buy them, but we became You'd a multi channel them. network. You'd yeah. help them. You'd help sell them. ads and stuff yeah. and help them make more so money. So Phil DeFranco was one of them. Mm -hmm. um, Phil actually came in. Um, so I met Phil. It was a live dignation at South by Southwest. Um, Beautiful Brian, Stubbs Barbecue. Stubbs man. Barbecue. Brian, you guys, that was a huge party. It was huge. Brian, Brian McCorney, who was at um, uh, SV Angel, which is Ron Conway's group, who had invested in us as an angel, said, oh, I got this guy. I'm hanging out with this guy, Phil DeFranco, <laughs> and I, Justine, and they want to get in. And I'm like, come on, there, guys. Yeah. You're going to VIP. Come on. And um, so, you know, a year later, he was part of what we were doing. Uh, and so basically, we pivoted from being mostly podcasts and mostly right. iTunes and all these other sources right. and mostly long form doing more shorter form. I was cutting Dignation up and putting the, uh, the little episode. Dig little bits. Dig bits, yeah. Dignation <laughs> Daily, I'd call it, because I'd release one We have day. twit bits. Twit bits, yeah. So was that a, did that work? It worked really well. Yeah. We, we built a uh, good business. We made a lot of money on it. And the sort of things that we were doing, that you're, you do uh, as well, um, the sort of intro sponsorships, right? Yeah. Where you talk about Audible. You talk about YouTube smart. let you do that. For a while. So they let us do it. Then they got mad at us for doing it. Then yeah. everybody else started doing yeah. it. And there's a real back and forth yeah. on, now they want a piece of the revenue. Yeah. For a while, they were, they were ready to shut us down. We'll probably be gone from YouTube as soon as they figure out. Yeah. They don't yet know that we exist. I would, I would always, whenever they would come after us, I would always pull a list of people together that were also doing it. You were always on the list. But I never used you. You, you, no. I never used you. You threw you. me under the bus. I did not oh, ever good. throw you under the bus, but you were always on my list. I was like, hey, doing Leo's it? doing it. But, they, but you know what? They really I would use, I used you too. I'd said, Revision 3's doing, doing it. it. That's how you probably got in trouble was a lot the of people said, and Machinima here's and the other a guys big, were all pissed because yes. we were doing it. And they're not allowed to put ads. And we were making money. Yeah. But the reason why we did it, think about it. You put something on YouTube, and they control all the monetization. And they take they, a huge chunk. They take chunk. 45%. Um, but they also, they wouldn't put a pre-roll in in front of everything. Only one out of every four videos. Right. Sometimes an overlay, sometimes not. You don't have any control. You have no control. And we're like... And we, you don't make, frankly, a lot of money, but, even if you have millions of views. It's all about yield per view. How do you get the most amount of money for right. every time somebody looks at a video? Right. That's why we did in-show sponsorships. Because right. that's how we, we would get, you know, whatever it was... Every view, we would make more. We'd make 8, 10, 12 per thousand views, whereas if it was just YouTube, it would be two bucks. Right. You're making more than four times as much. Yeah. And so, and that's the only way we could stay in business. Yeah. It's why we don't, if YouTube says you can't, we'll leave YouTube. We're not going to, yeah. because it's like, that's, that's not financially it's crazy. viable. Well, your audience is your audience. But at the same time, uh, so Rev why did you, say, why did Revision 3 sell? So when you're a venture back startup, um, and uh, these were the guys that invested in us that invested in Facebook and LinkedIn. Uh, uh, and those were going like this. Yeah. We were going like this. Yeah. You're growing. But Any normal business person would say, hey, that's nice. Nice growth. But because you're, doing you're not, great. You're not it's a, not two X. You're not on a path to unicorn for hood. You're not right? going to be a billion dollar company. Um, it was, look, it's been five years. You're not going to do that. You know, right. Let's start thinking about selling. Exit. So we want our money out of started, it. And I spent, you know, the last two years of Revision 3 do, you know, talking to investors, talking to what they call strategics, which are the big so companies. You, you could see this coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'd be in board meetings and they'd be like, get a list of the people that you might sell to. Start getting oh, relationships yeah, yeah, with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So about a and year. this was your job. So I was CEO. It was my job. Mm -hmm. well, the job of a CEO, um, which is why you don't do it, right, is to raise money, right. set strategy, yeah. and you know, make sure that, you know, and hire the right people. Right. Right. Lisa does a great job at that. She's very good at that. You're awesome at doing this, at creating community and right. being the, the gel that pulls it all together. Right. So, um, so yeah, I did that. About a year before we sold, um, Discovery came out to Silicon Valley. And when these big companies do this, they talk to some of the top VC firms and say, hey, who do you got? What do you who got? Who should I meet? Yeah. And so they introduced them to a bunch of people. 
including us. Nice. And so I got this to know... This is where having a VC firm is good. Yes, exactly. Because they open doors for right. you. Right. So I got to know the guys at Discovery. Yeah. Um, it turns out that we were very similar in how we talked about ourselves. We did a distribution deal with them. We started putting Scam School on uh, Discovery.com. We got to know each other better and better. And uh, at some point, we crossed over that path of we're business partners to we should buy you. Right. Right. And that worked out. It Look, it worked out... It, it, for the v everybody made money. Right. So everybody made a little money. Nobody made a they, lot of money. But they got their money back, which they got is their the money most back. important thing. They, well, yeah, it's a good thing. It's good not to You'd lose You'd like your to money. make a little money. For their for the the, the VC firms want to make 10x to 20x. Yeah, yeah. But they right. don't do that on every deal. No, they don't. They, they do. don't lose money on you. They're happy. It's okay. They're yeah. fine with it. They yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, some of our angel investors did pretty well. Like I brought Mark Cuban in towards the end. Uh, he probably tripled or quadrupled his money. Nice. Not a lot of money. But right. he did okay. Yeah. Um, and, you know, everybody made some. I mean, even the person that we hired a month before, I made sure got a little bit. Good for you. So, because it was important to me. Good for you. Everybody worked but hard. But it's not, and now Discovery ran it for, and you were there. I was uh, two and a half years. Two and a half I, years. I brought it in. We launched a ton of stuff, a bunch of new networks. We actually bought Phil DeFranco's company. Oh, neat. Um, yeah. And so we, we did, we built a lot of great stuff.